Hello, uh, this is a picture taken by Commander Picard. Now, Commander Picard is uh, in charge of Mission Farsight, which is this concept of a uh, spaceship going around the galaxy with its crew. And he, he speaks as a, as a group. And, and the messages that he puts out from the crew's journey, it's all written as the captain's log. So you've got um, captain's log, MFSD, 1723, star orbits become more and more erratic. As we, yeah, that's the wrong captain, actually, isn't it? Sorry. Anyway, so he tells the story of his journey, and he's been everywhere. Mission Farsight is the uh, continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, and boldly go where no one has gone before. And he does. That's the thing. He does boldly go where no one has gone before. And there's loads and loads and loads of planets and stars and systems and areas of the galaxy that have pretty much only been visited by Commander Picard because he's been out there the best part of six years. He's been out there well over 2,000 days. I, th I think he's docked a couple of times, although I may be wrong. But certainly before the arrival of things like, I don't know, fleet carriers out in the black, I'm not certain that he did actually. He has actually docked. But when you look at his EDSM map of where he's been, it's just like every single spiral. Every And actually only been through Sage. It's only been to the centre of the galaxy once by the looks of it, as shown by this, this map. But just all of the zigzags everywhere. There's so much, so much travel. It's so impressive. And not like most people's EDSM map, Elite Dangerous Star map, it, most people's map of the galaxy, certainly mine, you get this kind of ball of string where the bubble is and you, and you get another little ball of string up near Colonia, the two orbits of human population, really. And you get focuses of activity. But in Commander Picard's map, you don't get that you've got this just ongoing line round the spiral of the galaxy. It's just great. Anyway, this picture's first day of Odyssey, apparently, he said. He said this was the first time that um, he'd set foot on a planet, which is, is rather gorgeous. And as you can see, it's not just that he's set foot on a planet. It, more importantly, he's gone round the planet to find the exact place on the planet's surface where there's the moon of that planet is on the horizon and also there's an eclipsed star hovering above it so there's a third planet up there in the sky that's eclipsing a star and that's just just that probably doesn't just take positioning but it takes waiting until the orbits of the stellar bodies get into the right place to do that anyway <laughs> but that's another thing that makes it staggering because it's positioned so beautifully it's composed so nicely this screenshot they've really done a good job of putting everything in the right place and and there's no crate in it either <laughs> but he, he said he was nervous the terror of first stepping out of the srv obviously for us everyone who's played since the game was released this is quite a major thing is not being within the safe confines of your of your little box your your zone of safety <laughs> you know and it, and it must be and it is and it, it was quite quite a moment he said he was nervous that he might not have enabled his helmet or something and lots of lots of second guessing lots of not going or, or, or I, will, I will before actually setting foot and i remember my first setting foot in the alpha for the odyssey release and it was it was wonderful that the just the, the bizarre sense of freedom you don't think you're constrained but th that was a yeah it's a wonderful thing <laughs> quite quite a lot of this picture i've been tweaking this stuff i mean uh, this fella he's had so many expressions and, and facial appearances it starts out looking quite perky with lots of color and lots of lovely tones in there and by the end of it he's kind of gray I don't mind too much because he looks a little bit more like Commander Picard, but he, he's still a bit of a dog's dinner. I'm not too worried though because uh, once I moved the mouth down <laughs> and, and, and changed the angle of his nose a bit, it, it looks a little bit more like him. I did actually initially forget to write M-Lock on his leg, so I had to do that after the video 
and then add it as a picture at the end which you will see when it comes to the end of the video I guess uh, you will see it suddenly get crisper and clearer and the eclipsed star look less rubbish and the ray from the visor light on the Remlock suit uh, it now goes past the planet which it didn't initially it just stops no I fixed that tried to make it look a little bit better but actually I was surprised how long this took is it this this took about over two and a half hours best part of three really and that's unusual for me because i normally do because chalk's really quick anyway thank you for listening to me going on at you you're always very patient bye <laughs>